Good morning. My name is Mario Gomez. I'm one of the operations section chiefs on California Team 1. Today I'm going to give you your morning update on the east zone of the Dixie Fire. Last night, resources were patrolling and mopping up and responding to calls for service. And last night we had two calls for service, uh, one of which was well interior and the other was over on the west zone. So we relayed that information to them. For your update for today, I'm going to start with the area by Taylorsville. In the vicinity of Devil's Punch Bowl and Grizzly Mountain. So yesterday resources were in there engaged in direct fire suppression activities. We had two hotshot crews in there. Um, Beckworth Hotshots and Elk Mountain were in there on the fire's edge going direct, putting in handline and addressing any areas of concern. They ended up putting down a, or falling a couple of snags that uh, had potential to fall and roll out and across our control lines. And so they addressed those and they secured the line 50 feet. So they were able to mop up 50 feet on this section of line here by Taylorsville. Today, they're going to patrolling the same area and addressing any areas of concern that might pop up. Moving on down into Division Romeo up here on Grizzly Ridge. So Division Romeo is Grizzly Ridge. Resources also continue to patrol and mop up along Grizzly Ridge. And they're shooting for 150 feet of mop up uh, in this area. It was a, a burn operation that was completed a couple of weeks ago and things are looking really good. So they're mopping up and starting to backhaul any excess equipment. And they're looking at this potentially being moved into a patrol status within a couple of shifts. Coming down into the Lake Davis area, resources also continue to patrol and mop up here as well. Um, yesterday, there was no smokes within 150 feet of the line. So this was primarily a patrol uh, by you know resources that were staffing that division. And that continued on around into um, the Davis Valley, or Dixie Valley, sorry over into the, the Beckworth Genesee Road. So this area here that you see on the map, um, Turner Ridge, there was no reported issues. We had no resources um, finding any heat that were within 150 feet of the line there. So it was also a patrol. Coming down into Dixie Valley, um, this area that you can see here along the southern edge of the fire from Dixie Valley up to Dixie Mountain, that's where most of our resources were actively engaged out on the line addressing uh, hot spots. So there was a, um, a whole bunch of resources out there uh, mopping up, actively engaged in, in mop up. They were able to get uh, 50 feet mopped up yesterday. And today they're gonna go in and continue to, to go in a little bit deeper and secure that line. Right here below Dixie Mountain, it's a real steep, rocky, rugged piece of ground and uh, they had resources check it the day before. And yesterday uh, there was no smoke showing uh, close to the line, but today folks are gonna get back in there and do a patrol of that steep section of line to just make sure there's nothing that could threaten our control line. This stuff here that you see that bumped up against the Beckworth complex, there's um, no you know potential for fire spread to the east. There was a couple of heat signatures that was picked up uh, on the IR that was within the Beckworth Complex fire scar, but there's no issue, um, no threat to uh, our control lines. Coming down into what we're calling Division Papa Papa, it's uh, out here uh, along the 395 corridor uh, by Black Mountain. So that's what we're calling Division Papa Papa. And this is in a patrol and mop up uh, status as well. Resources maintain a presence out here on the 395 corridor and they're available to respond to any calls for service and that'll continue today. Coming back to the north side of um, you know, the, the fire here that bumped into 395, resources also continue to uh, patrol and mop up this area as well. And again, shooting for that 150 feet mop up all along this edge of the fire here back to the Walker fire scar. So now I'm gonna move up and talk about the, the fire by, or the spot fire that was up by Janesville. So we have a, um, a Honey Lake group uh, that's out in this area. They're maintaining a presence and they're patrolling this entire fire uh, by Janesville. 
There was no uh, reported issues. There was a couple of smokes that were well interior uh, up on the escarpment here along the 395 corridor, but no, no um, threats to our control line. Coming over into the area by Antelope Lake, um, our division November, November, uh, this is also in a patrol status and no reported smokes uh, visible from the, the control line. And that remained the same all the way up and around the entire west zone into the, the Dyer Mountain area. And same thing goes for here, patrol mop up, no reported uh, issues and nothing you know, for the resources to address. Now I'm gonna come down into the uh, Indian Valley um, area and this uh, also is in a patrol and mop up status. Resources will maintain a presence out here as well and they're gonna continue to patrol mop up and uh, backhaul any excess hose and equipment and get that stuff back to fire camp so we can get it into the system for other incidents. And that goes for the entire you know, southern edge of the fire all the way back to story, what we're calling the heel of the fire, patrol and mop up in here as well, and backhaul any excess equipment and supplies. And that's the end of your report. Have a good day, thanks.